This is a patient uh, who came in with uh, a foot drop, basically. She woke up uh, one Saturday and she uh, felt that her uh, lateral leg and dorsal foot areas are numb. She could not move her left foot her, or her toes upwards. She never complained of uh, pain. So it's a painless foot drop. And then neurologically, no dorsiflexion, one out of five. Uh, EHL uh, movement, zero out of five. Ankle eversion on the left side, uh, one out of five. So she has a foot drop. And you know, you see a patient with a foot drop, then you would generate a differential diagnosis. You'd say maybe it's a disc herniation that's caused the foot drop or it's something else. And you got to always keep an open mind. Why? Because you want to make the right diagnosis. So this is a true story here where we were consulted to see this patient saying, okay, she has a MR that shows a little bit of a disc herniation, L4-5. Should we take her and operate on her? We were not convinced that this explained her symptoms. Okay. So uh, other causes of foot drop would be a peripheral neuropathy, mainly a peroneal neuropathy. And to, der to determine that, the fourth pillar is an electrolyte diagnostic study. So since this disc was not that impressive, uh, to us uh, that we explained the patient's foot drop, got an EMG that showed indeed that the patient had the left peroneal nerve involvement. There was an incomplete conduction block uh, of the left peroneal nerve uh, at the level of the popliteal fossa, just behind the knee, uh, behind the, above the fibular head. Uh, you know, sometimes the cause of this is a um, uh, uh, DVT, uh, um, since the patient was on OCPs, it was negative, the DVT, uh, sorry, the duplex scan was negative, ruling out the DVT, so we imaged the, the knee. It was also negative, it didn't show us anything, so it was a, a spontaneous uh, inflammation of the peroneal nerve, and that resolved with physical therapy and time. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.